In this video, we provide the solution to question number 12 for the practice exam number three for MAP 1060. We're given a triangle ABC and we're asked to solve for that triangle. The information we know is that the angle measure of A is 45 degrees, the length of side B is one inch, and the length of side C is the square root of two inches, which is about 1.4, but uh, it's better to have the exact value there. So notice that we have a side angle side situation. So the law of cosines would be a very appropriate tool for us. We know angle A, we can use the law of cosines to find the length of side length A right there. So that's how we're gonna proceed. So the law of cosines tells us that A squared plus B squared, or sorry, A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus two BC cosine of A. So we don't know what little a is, so we're gonna fill out the right hand side here. Uh, little b is one, so we get one squared. Little c is the square root of two. We're gonna square that, which is helpful. Uh, we're gonna get two times one times the square root of two, then times that by the cosine of 45 degrees, for which one squared is one, the square root of two squared is two, which is why it's better to have the exact value there. Two times one times the square root of two is two times the square root of two. And we do are allowed to calculate here, but 45 degrees, that's one of our special angles. That's gonna be root two over two. Um, for which then we're going to continue to simplify this thing. One plus two is three. Uh, we're going to have a square root of two times the square root of two. That's a two. And then these twos cancel out like so. So you end up with a minus two. So in the end, we end up with a one for that. So a squared is equal to one. Taking the square root, we get that little a is equal to positive one inch like so. So that we see that's gonna equal one right there. That helps us out a lot here because if this side is one and this side is one, that actually means we have any we have an isosceles triangle. Uh, the this angle opposite side is corresponding to this angle opposite side, they're equal. That actually tells us very quickly that we have 45 degrees. Um, if you're not satisfied with that quick use of the isosceles triangle theorem, um, we can use the law of sines to help us out here. Sine b over little b is equal to sine a over little a, right? This would then, of course, tell us that sine of b is equal to b over a times sine of a, which b over a, we both know those are one, one over one, times sine of a, that is 45 degrees, for which that would simplify to give us root two over two. When is sine of b equal to root two over two? You can consult your calculator, uh, but you're gonna end up, of course, with b equals 45 degrees, again, like so. Uh, the other temptation, of course, is to do like in the second quadrant, you're going to get 135 degrees, which, of course, would leave that angle C is zero. So that one doesn't work. So we get that B is 45 degrees. But like I said, I recognize it was a sausage triangle. I was able to do that really quickly. Uh, that's not a necessary th observation, but it does simplify the calculation dramatically there. Once you get angle A and B, whether you use the law of sines or the isosceles triangle theorem, that doesn't matter. Once you get A and B to find the measure of angle C, uh, we're just going to, of course, take 180 degrees, subtract from the angles we know. So we have 45 degrees, 45 degrees, which combined is 90 degrees. So we have 180 degrees minus 90 degrees. So we get that C itself is 90 degrees. So it turns out that in hindsight, we see that this triangle was actually a 45-45-90 triangle, which was pretty cool, not necessary. We found this using the law of cosines and law of sines, mind you. Uh, but we found all this information and it turned out to be pretty cool at the end. Don't worry about the diagram. These diagrams are not drawn to scale. So the fact it doesn't look like a right triangle is actually important because we didn't want that to suggest that was the right answer. We found it through this trigonometric formula of the law of cosines and sines.